I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Morrisman and Michael Seleti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 6.20 from the chapter number 6. So the problem is enclose the binary counter with parallel load of figure 6.28. That means the circuit of figure 6.28, we have to enclose it in a block diagram. And then we have to show all the inputs and outputs. We need not to show the internal circuit of the block. Okay, just we have to show a block and here we have to give the inputs and show the outputs. In the first part of the problem, we are asked to show the connections of the four such blocks to produce a 16-bit counter. So here in this figure 6.28, we have 4-bit input, 4-bit output. So now we have to make it a 16-bit counter with parallel load. That means that will have 16 parallel input and 16 parallel output. Next, we are asked to construct a counter that counts from 0 through binary 64 then we have to construct a binary counter that will count from 0 through 64 then we have to find out what is the maximum value of the counter counts if all the eight outputs are used here in the second case we have to use two parallel four bit counter and in the third part we are asked about if we use all the eight ports of previous part design then what will be the maximum value that the counter counts if all the eight outputs are used so first of all, what we have to do, we have to enclose the binary counter of figure 6.28 in a block diagram showing all the inputs and outputs. So now let us do the circuit diagram. So this is figure 6.28, 4-bit binary counter with parallel load. So here we can see that we have a clear input. This clear input is uh, given parallelly to all the flip-flops, all these JK flip-flops. And this clock input is also given parallelly to all these flip-flops. And here we have a C out. Then here we have one count in one load input and here we have four bit input okay i0 i1 i2 and i3 and the outputs are these four outputs and one c out now we have to enclose in a block diagram here we have figure 6.28 so we have to define now all the input and outputs so the inputs are one input is count next input is load next we have one clock input and here we have one clear here we have one c out so here we'll have four inputs i0 i1 i2 and i3 suppose here we have i3 i2 i1 and i0 here we have four outputs a3 a2 a1 and a0 okay so these are the four inputs and these are the four outputs and at the rising edge of the clock all the jk flip flops will be activated when we have a active low input at this clear input this all these four outputs will be reset to zero okay so we have drawn this block diagram and we have indicated all these inputs and outputs okay these are the inputs and these are the outputs so in the first part of the problem so the connections of a four such blocks to produce a 16-bit counter so here we have a 4-bit counter that will count from 0 to 15. Now we have to design a 16-bit counter that will have 16 number of parallel input and 16 number of parallel output. So here we'll have 4 number of such counters. So here we'll have the count. So here we have load. Here we have clock and here we have a clear input okay similarly here we have one c out carry out so this carry out will be connected to the count of this next higher counter higher order counter this carry out we have to connect to this count here now we have this load okay this load will be connected parallelly And here also we have to connect this load. So here we have suppose this is load. This is count. So here we have to again connect this load. This carry out from this first counter will be connected to this count in. Okay, here we'll have clock. Here we have clock. and here we have this clear input okay so this clock will be connected to the 
clock inputs here we have this clock and this clock again we have to connect here and here we have clear this clear will be connected here and this one is the load input so this is the clock input here we have clear then we have this load input this is load we are left with this count the carry out from this third one this is two this is one okay and this is four so here we'll have this carry out c out this one this one is also c out this one is c out okay this carry out is connected to this count in now we have connected all this clear input so here we have this clear this is clock they are connected their load and the carry out of this lowest stage counter is connected to this to the upper one count in carry out it will connect to this count in the second one carry out will be connected to the third one carry in and the third one carry out will be connected to the count in of this fourth one okay and here we'll have one c out carry out so for all these counters we have four inputs and four outputs so these are the four inputs and four outputs four outputs i0 i1 i2 i3 this is i15 and here we have from a0 up to a16 that means here we have 16 bit input 16 bit output so this is the 16 bit parallel counter okay now let us go to our second part of the problem in the second part of the problem we have to construct a binary counter that counts from 0 through 64 now in the second part we have to construct a counter that has a highest count of 64 that will that will count from 0 to 64 so we have to use here now two blocks two such blocks because here we have 64 64 means 2 to the power 6 here we have with one counter we can count up to 2 to the power 4 okay so with two blocks we can count up to 2 to the power 8 that is 256 but we need to only count up to 64 so how we can design so here we have suppose figure 6.8 the inside this block we have figure 6.28 so suppose another we need here okay so that will have figure 6.28 inside this block okay so here we have one carry out so this carry out we have to connect similar to the previous case to the count in so here we have count so here we have load so we have to load parallelly so we have to give this load parallelly to both of these counters okay for the counters here we'll have four outputs four inputs here we have four outputs here we have four inputs here we have this load in load so this load should be connected to this parallel okay then here we have this clock so here we have a clear similarly here also we'll have a clock and here we'll have a clear this counter should count up to 64 i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 i7 we will sort all these inputs okay and we apply here a logic zero okay and here we'll have this a0 a1 a2 
3 4 5 6 7 so we have to connect this parallel load into this a5 that is 2 to the power 6 or equal to 64 so if we connect this to both the load inputs here so we'll have a counter that will count up to 64 from 0 up to 64 so in the third part of the problem we are asked about what is the maximum value that the counter counts if all the eight outputs are used so if we use all the eight outputs the if we use all the eight outputs the maximum count will be will be 256 because 2 to the power 8 is equal to 256 so the maximum count will be 256 that is the counter goes through 0 to 255 okay so this is the solution of the problem number 6.20 from the chapter number 6 okay thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you